Hi friends, welcome back to Spice Up Your Intimacy with Noki. Today I'm going to be discussing one of the most important topics when it comes to sexual intimacy and that is debunking the myths surrounding sexual intimacy, especially when it comes to women. So today I'm going to be debunking 10 myths surrounding sexual intimacy. Of course there could be more but for today's video I'm just going to be covering 10 myths surrounding sex when it comes to women. The number one well well, these are in no particular order of course so the number one myth that i want to talk about is orgasm guarantees satisfaction this is one very popular myth i'm sure it will surprise some of you when a woman reaches an orgasm it does not necessarily mean that she is satisfied of course this varies from woman to woman from individual to individual just because a woman has reached an orgasm does not mean that she is satisfied there are other ways in which a woman can be satisfied without reaching an orgasm from foreplay oral sex to some other sexual intimacy activities that can bring them satisfaction it really depends on the individual just because a woman has reached an orgasm does not necessarily mean that she is satisfied another point that i want to highlight is some women do reach an orgasm but they'll still need more they'll still need some more sexual activity until they get to a point where they say okay this is it i am satisfied and that means there are some sexual activity of course that can bring satisfaction to a woman not necessarily reaching an orgasm so the truth surrounding orgasm is there are other sexual activities that can guarantee satisfaction other than reaching an orgasm okay moving on another misconception or another myth is that women naturally have a lower libido compared to men and this is a big misconception my friend when it comes to a, a woman's sex drive or even men for that matter there are a lot of things that come into play sex drive may fluctuate up and down depending on hormonal changes stress and what's going on in the relationships or relationship dynamics and the person's well-being this can contribute to, to the libido or the sex drive of an individual let alone a woman another myth that i want to debunk is pain is not normal and it's expected during sex that is a misconception that is a myth and we are debunking it right here and now while there may be some kind of discomfort yes discomfort may be normal however pain should never be expected or be part of sexual intercourse pain during sex is an indicator that either there was no arousal there wasn't enough foreplay there is something going on with the woman the vjj is dry or there's some health issue going on pain should not be expected as part of sexual intercourse some discomfort yes slight discomfort yes but when it becomes pain excruciating pain that the woman shrieks or screams or cries because of pain that is not normal please note that there's that moaning and groaning that comes from excitement i'm not talking about that i'm not talking about somebody who's expressing their enjoyment or just letting loose because they are having fun with the sexual activity no i'm talking about pain intense pain it should not be part of sexual intercourse okay if there is pain then communicate with your husband about the pain maybe it's something that he is doing you may need to change positions you may also need to consult your doctor your OBGYN, and describe to them the type of pain that you are experiencing and they are going to do necessary tests because at times you know you might have an ovarian cyst it could be anything just make sure that you consult your doctor after you talk to your husband and try other ways like changing positions and spending more time in foreplay to produce the more lubrication to your vjj okay my sis you should not expect or experience pain during sex as a matter of fact on this video here that i'm going to link in the icon i do talk about 15 possible reasons why women do not enjoy sex you might want to watch it i actually talk about pain as one of those reasons that women will avoid or may avoid avoid uh, sexual intercourse with their spouse okay moving on to the next uh, myth that we need to debunk today right here on this video i believe this next myth is a whole video all together so be on the lookout for that video women do not initiate sex or women cannot initiate sex whichever way you want to phrase it but this myth boils down to 
women not initiating sex or women not expected to initiate sex cases that's a myth that's a lie and we want to debunk it today women can initiate sex okay i hope you are not one of those who just has to wait for their husband to initiate remember i've talked about sex being a give and take that also relates to initiating you can initiate sex okay if you're one of those women who has never initiated sex do your husband a favor and surprise him and initiate sex you are sending messages to him that i want to i desire you i'm longing for you boost their ego not only does it boost his ego you are also taking the role of being a partner in this whole relationship my thought when it comes to this way may not initiate in sexes what about if you desire your man and he really doesn't care whether he gets it tonight or not there are some of those women who have a high sex drive during a particular time of the month especially during ovulation some women do actually have a high sex drive can you imagine during that time when your husband maybe is not even thinking about it it's okay for you to initiate if he is not a selfish one he will definitely deliver ladies it's about time you knew and started initiating say send a message to him that i want to i desire you and boost his ego and see how he feels he'll be smiling the whole day and he'll be walking tall i tell you so yes women can initiate sex i'll be talking more about that i'll probably do a whole video on it if you are enjoying this video so far do me a favor and click the thumbs up button so that other people can find this video moving on another myth that i need to debunk today is the hymen indicates virginity oh my goodness i know a lot of people a lot of people both men and women from all walks of life they do believe that an intact hymen is a sign of virginity uh -uh. that's a myth that we need to debunk hymen hymen if there's plural this is one organ that that varies from woman to woman both in shape and size some women do not have their their hymen broken during sexual intercourse some hymen they do remain intact however just because a woman's hymen remains intact does not necessarily mean that they are a virgin that is a big big misconception another thing that i also want to mention when it comes to the hymen it can also be broken during activities like sports say not necessarily sex so this is one myth that really needs to be debunked some women's hymen they remain intact whether they've had sex or not so we need to get off that mindset of saying uh, just because someone's hymen is intact it means that it indicates that they are a virgin not necessarily that is not always true as this really depends on the shape and the size of the hymen which varies from woman to woman the next myth that needs to be debunked my friend is that the lack of sexual desire is abnormal ah oh, this is another myth sexual desire or someone's libido like we or a woman's sex drive also varies from their hormones stress levels their well-being what's going on in their life so it's normal that women even men for that matter it is normal that your sex drive will fluctuate it will be up and down up and down because of the way our bodies were created because of the changes that happen whenever we go through stuff in life or whenever some hormones change it is not abnormal for someone's sex drive to to plateau or to go down at a particular time it becomes a concern however if that sex drive remains down and is always down forever again watch the video that time I'm going to link in the i card and I'm going to also leave it in the description box because it does cover the 15 possible reasons why women do not enjoy sex you cannot have your sex drive always down there's something wrong you need to be checked out but if it is something that you are going through uh, on and off that's absolutely normal and you shouldn't feel bad about it age reduces sexual interest that's a myth actually as a matter of fact i was just watching a video of a 65 year old who is still enjoying sex at her age of 65 more than ever the older women become the more they enjoy sex and personally the way i look at it is the older a woman gets the more they know and understand their body they know what gets them going they know where they want to be touched and as we grow older we are more outspoken we are able to articulate 
our desires we are able to to say what pleases us and what does not please us so it doesn't surprise me that as women get older we do enjoy sex and we do experience even more intense orgasms because we have no care in the world whatsoever when someone is younger they do not understand their body yet uh, maybe they are even they are not ready to have children and they are afraid of getting pregnant it can be anything but as we get older as we get more in tune with our bodies we get to enjoy sex more and more even orgasm some women do not experience orgasms until later on in their lives sex is one of those things that should get better with age as we get grow older you should enjoy it more okay long-term relationships mean less pleasure that is a lie the way i look at it and from experience when a woman is married in the first few years of your marriage you are actually adjusting to living with this person and to understanding this person the way you both operate you are trying to acclimate to each other and with that being said you get to be more comfortable the longer you spend together so you realize that for example if a couple is newly wed like maybe a year or two their relationship is not going to be the same as someone who's been married for 10 years you might realize that those 10 year olds they are having a blast in their sexual intimacy and they are having an amazing time but the longer you spend together the longer your relationship goes the more you get to know and understand each other the more you get to know his body the more you get to know his original areas the more he gets to know your body the more he gets to know what turns you on what turns you off and you get to be more comfortable with each other okay yeah so we need to eradicate that mindset of saying that the longer you are married or the longer you spend with somebody the less pleasure you're going to have in your matrimonial bed uh -uh, that is not true at all okay let's move on sexual desire and attractiveness decline after childbirth that is a myth this is one of those things that also varies from woman to woman some women after after childbirth they become more confident with who they are it is a myth like the previous one that I mentioned however some women may feel some kind of way because their bodies have changed and they haven't really gotten their body back to where they want it to be they haven't gotten their tummy to be flat again they are still working on it and because of that some women may be uncomfortable they might not feel attractive they might not feel comfortable but this is a myth because this changes as they get back to their normal shape and they get their kegels exercises going they get everything tight again that confidence of enjoying sex can bounce right back so this is a myth that you need to debunk and i want to encourage anybody who may be pregnant or just had a baby that hey you are still going to enjoy sex just keep watching this channel because i've got some tips for you on how you can shrink that vjj after childbirth and number 10 the last one is my absolute like um it's one of those myths that when i came across this myth that some women actually or some people actually believe this i was like oh no we have a whole lot of education to do and this is why we have this platform here the number 10 myth is women cannot have I, i'm even rolling my eyes to the back of my head as i say this women cannot have multiple orgasms that is a lie from the pit of hell yes women can and will yeah women can have multiple orgasms and some women it doesn't even take penetration for them to start having their first orgasm some women get their orgasm just from foreplay from oral sex from whatever he is doing to her before even they get penetrated and some women don't even get an orgasm from penetration it all boils down to a woman's body but yes a woman is capable of having multiple i mean multiple orgasms in that one session yeah you can have multiple orgasms shoot me an email if you want to know how to achieve this or if you have a question on any topic sexual intercourse or sexual intimacy related that question may actually be answered in an upcoming video i just gave you 10 but i know for sure there are more myths that some people have gotten to believe these falsehoods have to be debunked yeah these misconceptions have to to be clarified so that you as a woman can have a healthier sex relationship with your spouse and that you can enjoy your sexual intercourse with your spouse and that you can give more to your spouse and also be able to 
and to receive more and actually embrace your womanhood your femininity who you are as a wife don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more educational videos that will help you take your relationship from cold look home to blazing hot until next time my friends remember to do small things with great love from my heart to yours adios bye bye i'll see you next time take care